Mumps is a contagious viral infection that primarily affects the salivary glands, which are responsible for producing saliva. It is caused by the mumps virus, which is a member of the paramyxovirus family. The virus is spread through respiratory droplets, such as when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Mumps is most commonly seen in children between the ages of 5 and 15, but it can affect people of any age. The symptoms of mumps usually appear 2 to 3 weeks after exposure to the virus and can include fever, headache, muscle aches, fatigue, loss of appetite, and swelling of the salivary glands. Complications of mumps can include inflammation of the testicles, or chitis, in males, inflammation of the ovaries, oophoritis, in females, and inflammation of the brain, encephalitis. These complications are rare but can be serious. There is no specific treatment for mumps, but the symptoms can be managed with rest, fluids, and over-the-counter pain relievers. Vaccination is the best way to prevent mumps, and the MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, vaccine is recommended for all children and adults who have not been vaccinated or who have not had the disease. In conclusion, mumps is a viral infection that primarily affects the salivary glands and is spread through respiratory droplets. It is most commonly seen in children between the ages of 5 and 15 and can cause fever, headache, muscle aches, and swelling of the salivary glands. Complications are rare but can be serious. Vaccination is the best way to prevent mumps. Mumps, also known as epidemic parotitis, is a contagious viral infection that primarily affects the salivary glands. It is caused by the mumps virus, which belongs to the family paramyxoviridae. The virus is spread through respiratory droplets, such as those produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. The virus can also be spread through contact with contaminated surfaces or objects. Once the virus enters the body, it begins to replicate in the upper respiratory tract and spreads to the salivary glands. The virus causes inflammation and swelling of the salivary glands, which can lead to pain and tenderness in the affected area. The most common symptom of mumps is swelling of the parotid glands, which are located on either side of the face, just below the ears. Other symptoms may include fever, headache, muscle aches, fatigue, and loss of appetite. Mumps is most commonly seen in children between the ages of 5 and 9 years old, but it can occur at any age. The virus is highly contagious and can spread rapidly in crowded environments, such as schools and daycare centers. People who have not been vaccinated against mumps are at a higher risk of contracting the virus. Complications from mumps are rare, but they can occur. In some cases, the virus can cause inflammation of the brain, encephalitis, which can lead to seizures, coma, and even death. Mumps can also cause inflammation of the testicles, or chitis, in males, which can lead to infertility. In rare cases, mumps can cause inflammation of the ovaries, oophoritis, in females, which can lead to infertility. The best way to prevent mumps is through vaccination. The mumps vaccine is part of the MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella, vaccine, which is typically given to children between the ages of 12 and 15 months, and again between the ages of 4 and 6 years old. The vaccine is highly effective and provides long-lasting immunity against the virus. Sure, here's a script about 5 good foods for mumps. 1. Yogurt. 
Yogurt is a great food for mumps as it contains probiotics that help boost the immune system. Probiotics are good bacteria that help fight off infections and reduce inflammation in the body. 2. Pineapple. Pineapple contains an enzyme called bromelain that has anti-inflammatory properties. This can help reduce swelling and pain associated with mumps. 3. Turmeric. Turmeric is a spice that has anti-inflammatory properties. It contains a compound called curcumin that has been shown to reduce pain and swelling in the body. 4. Garlic. Garlic is a natural antibiotic and has antiviral properties. It can help fight off infections and boost the immune system. 5. Leafy greens. Leafy greens such as spinach, kale, and collard greens are rich in vitamins and minerals that help support the immune system. They also contain antioxidants that help reduce inflammation in the body. Overall, incorporating these five foods into your diet can help support your immune system and reduce inflammation and pain associated with mumps. 1. Spicy foods. Spicy foods can irritate the salivary glands, which can worsen the swelling and pain associated with mumps. It's best to avoid spicy foods until the swelling subsides. 2. Citrus fruits. Citrus fruits are high in acid, which can also irritate the salivary glands. This can cause more pain and discomfort for those with mumps. It's best to avoid citrus fruits until the swelling subsides. 3. Sugary foods. Sugary foods can weaken the immune system, making it harder for the body to fight off the mumps virus. It's best to avoid sugary foods and drinks to help the body recover faster. 4. Fried foods. Fried foods are high in fat and can be difficult for the body to digest. This can cause more discomfort for those with mumps. It's best to avoid fried foods until the swelling subsides. 5. Dairy products. Dairy products can increase mucus production, which can make it harder to breathe and swallow. It's best to avoid dairy products until the swelling subsides. Mumps is a viral infection that is highly contagious and spreads from person to person through respiratory droplets or saliva. The infection causes swelling of the salivary glands, which can lead to severe pain and discomfort. While there is no specific treatment for mumps, there are several steps that individuals can take to prevent getting infected. The most effective way to prevent mumps is through vaccination. The MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella, vaccine is highly effective in preventing mumps and is recommended for all children and adults who have not been vaccinated or have not had the infection before. The vaccine is usually given in two doses, with the first dose given at 12 to 15 months of age and the second dose given at 4 to 6 years of age. In addition to vaccination, practicing good hygiene can also help prevent the spread of mumps. This includes washing hands frequently with soap and water, avoiding close contact with people who are sick, and covering the mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. It is also important to stay home from school or work if you have symptoms of mumps, such as fever, headache, and swelling of the salivary glands.
This can help prevent the spread of the infection to others. If you are traveling to an area where mumps is common, it is recommended to get vaccinated before traveling. This can help protect you from getting infected and spreading the infection to others. In summary, the best way to prevent getting mumps is through vaccination, practicing good hygiene, staying home if you have symptoms, and getting vaccinated before traveling to areas where mumps is common. By taking these steps, you can help protect yourself and others from this highly contagious infection. Mumps is a viral infection that primarily affects the salivary glands, causing them to become swollen and painful. While there is no specific cure for mumps, there are several ways to alleviate symptoms and prevent complications. The first step in treating mumps is to rest and stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of fluids, such as water, soup, and electrolyte drinks, can help prevent dehydration and reduce fever. It is also important to avoid acidic or spicy foods, as they can irritate the salivary glands and make symptoms worse. Over-the-counter pain relievers, such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen, can help reduce fever and relieve pain. However, aspirin should be avoided in children under the age of 18, as it can increase the risk of a rare but serious condition called RISE syndrome. Applying a warm or cold compress to the affected area can also help reduce pain and swelling. A warm compress can help increase blood flow to the area, while a cold compress can help numb the area and reduce inflammation. In severe cases of mumps, hospitalization may be necessary. This is particularly true if complications such as meningitis, encephalitis, or orchitis, inflammation of the testicles, occur. In these cases, treatment may involve intravenous fluids, pain medication, and close monitoring. Prevention is also key in managing mumps. The MMR vaccine, which protects against measles, mumps, and rubella, is highly effective in preventing mumps. It is recommended that children receive two doses of the vaccine, the first at 12 to 15 months of age and the second at 4 to 6 years of age. Adults who have not been vaccinated or who are unsure of their vaccination status should also consider getting vaccinated. In conclusion, while there is no specific cure for mumps, there are several ways to alleviate symptoms and prevent complications. Rest, hydration, pain relief, and warm or cold compresses can all help reduce pain and swelling. In severe cases, hospitalization may be necessary. Prevention through vaccination is also important in managing mumps. I hope you found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing and setting notifications for future updates.